This is our top story. We continue to cover the removal of now former Bishop Joseph Strickland of the Diocese of Tyler. We've heard from officials of the Catholic faith, but now we want to put a spotlight on the followers. Many have been vocal on social media and even plan to gather this Saturday to march and pray in Tyler. Jose Alonso spent the day speaking to his followers across the region. Followers of the Catholic faith like Vicky Murillo, who attends St. Jude's Catholic Church, which is under the Diocese of Tyler, say they are still upset about Pope Francis's decision to remove former Bishop Joseph Strickland from his position. It's kind of like a divorce. You know, we love them both. Um, our faith, it's based on what we're being taught, and they're our shepherd, you know, so it is very sad. Murillo says Strickland's commitment to East Texas has been unforgettable because of how he's taken the time to learn another language to reach the faith's Spanish-speaking community. He tried to make it all inclusive, where everyone from our church could come, and if you spoke Spanish, you were able to understand Mass. CBS 19 has reached out to Strickland for comments, and we have not heard back, but we have been given permission from LifeSite News to use portions of their interview with him. I couldn't resign. I couldn't, of my will, uh, abandon the flock that I'd been given. But now that an authority, Pope Francis, has the authority to remove me as bishop, and he's chosen to do so, I have to respect that. Strickland was questioned on why his removal is a focus when there are other issues within the Catholic administration. The only answer I have to that is because forces in the church right now uh, don't want the truth of the gospel. They want it changed. They want it ignored. Even though followers want to respect the Pope, those who support Strickland, like Natalia Urquiza, want to continue voicing their support. Well, everybody who knows him, please support him. Do not forget about him and remember that he's always been there for us. Maria has been reading her Bible for guidance and says she respects the decision, but wishes for more clarity as she feels left in the dark about what's going on with the diocese. My hopes are just that the new leader or bishop that we get is, you know, is involved and tries to make himself, um, you know, as available as Bishop Strickland did for all of our um, different churches here in this community. Jose Alonso, CBS 19. Now, as we hear from followers, we are also hearing from those of the Catholic faith who support the decision. A partial quote from Father Timothy Kelly of the Holy Spirit Parish in Holly Lake Ranch says, quote, priests who disagreed with the bishop were intimidated by his supporters. I'm not saying that Bishop Strickland is not responsible for his words. However, but some very unsavory men have influenced him, unquote. As the story develops, we'll bring it to you online and on air.